Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, go over the ingredient, my special ingredient that I uh, made my own uh, ceviche. As you know, ceviche is uh, you supposed to have your uh, raw shrimp and then uh, mix it up with your uh, either green onion, your cilantro, your tomato, either your white onion or your uh, yellow onions and put some of this uh, black pepper and then uh, all you do is just uh, squeeze the lime and then uh, put it in the refrigerator to let it sit overnight because the uh, lime will cook the shrimp but I don't like that uh, style so normally what I did is uh, I uh, chop up my white onions and then my uh, fresh uh, tomatoes I use uh, four of these uh, tomatoes the big one and then uh, mix up with uh, two of the medium size uh, white onions okay and some other people suggest that you could put like a fresh of the cut uh, onions like this So normally I don't use a green onion, I only use a cilantro. So you can see I chop out the cilantro already, oh actually my wife did that, and then uh, some of the tomato. And what I'm going to do is uh, chop uh, the white onions and then put it in. She chopped uh, three of the tomato, I told her that's not enough, so we're going to have uh, chop up, uh, I'm going to chop up one more of the tomato in there. And some other people, they put like a black uh, pepper in there. I got this from uh, Costco, which is from uh, Kirtland Signature. So after you chop out the onions, the uh, cilantro, the tomatoes, and what I like to do is uh, I have a frozen bag of uh, shrimp. Let me get it for you real quick. And I got this uh, from Costco as well. So normally I boil the medium uh, size uh, pot of uh, water in there. And then I dump the whole uh, package in there. Well, it depends on how much shrimp you want to eat. Uh, then I let it sit for about a couple minutes and then take it out. Because uh, I don't like to eat shrimp uh, that is raw. But I know uh, some people like to eat the ceviche uh, with the raw shrimp or raw uh, octopus. Uh, some other people, they put like a halibut and some other fish in there. But uh, you can mix whatever you want or whatever you like or squid or whatever. Uh, so, and <clears throat> after I cook that, I take out the tail. This is sorry, uh, raw and tail on only, okay? They peel all the shells already, and all that left is the tail. So, which is uh, save you more work that way. This is a peel, divine, uh, divine, no preservative, and uh, chemical free. It's about 21 to 25 shrimps, and this is uh, two pounds, uh, 908 grams. I got this from Costco as well. Uh, it's about less than 18 bucks, 17.79. Well, the price kind of keep keep going up. Before it's like 12, 13, 14, and keep going up. And you need to put this uh, tapatio. This is your uh, special ingredients. Okay, this will make your uh, ceviche uh, taste uh, pretty good and spicy. Depends uh, how much uh, spice you want to put in there. Okay. Every time when I brought this to the party, and then uh, a lot of people they always say, "How do you make it? It tastes so different from all other ceviche, ceviche that they uh, been eating." So hopefully you guys uh, like the, what I'm showing to you guys. So I'll. 
today I'll try something new and let me put five of this and chop it in there okay but I already have Senan Choi in there already and what I'm going to do is just uh, cut out one more tomato and then put cut out two of these uh, onions hopefully I'm not going to cry because the onion uh, make your eye uh, watery so So before I cut this out, I'm going to give it a little wash. As you can see, it's kind of black, uh, some stuff on there. But anyway, uh, I'm going to wash it up real quick, the tomato. And then uh, I'm not, and then we stop from there, okay? So as you can see, mm -hmm. I washed my tomatoes already and my green onions. Uh, let's uh, zoom in real quick. Show you how I chop it. Hopefully, I'm not going to chop my fingers off. You want to chop off slowly, okay? Because uh, before I try to rush it and it got slipped and I cut myself and it stopped bleeding. Just be sure to hold your uh, knife sturdy. So I'm going to slip off. Sorry guys, I'm delivery guy. So let's go ahead and then uh, move on. You want to hold your tomato together so you don't get separate, okay? You want to cut out the edges because uh, those are nasty and old. You want to have a fresh ingredient in your uh, ceviche, okay? So I got my onion right here. I'm gonna chop out the, the top and bottom. So yeah, make sure you hold it sturdy because uh, last time I cut the onion, it was slippery. And I ended up cutting myself because uh, somehow I guess it slipped and then the knife I was holding is not firmly. I'm gonna peel the outer layer off. You gotta take this uh, out, okay?
Well, as you can see, the bowl is almost full, so I got to change it to a bigger one. All right, so we are at the stove right now. I'm going to use this uh, medium uh, pot and put like a one third of uh, water in there and let it boil before I put the shrimp in, uh, the whole pack of shrimp in there. Okay, so I'm going to get some water right now. So like that. Let's fire up. Turn on the vent. Close the lid. Now let it broil about probably like five to six minutes. Depends on your uh, heat. Medium, high, or low. I, I like to put it around like a little bit more than medium so I won't waste that like, gas. Sometimes when people they think that they're gonna put the highest uh, fire or flame on the stove, they, instead of that, they are wasting their uh, gas bill, okay? Because all the gas is coming out of the pot and then you're just wasting it. So yeah, just be sure that the flame is just right on top of the pot. Okay? Obviously, if you turn it too high, all it does is that uh, you see the flame coming out of the pot, you're just wasting it. So I'm keeping it on a five or six. Because uh, I know my uh, gas bill, Whenever I cook, I don't go over my bill. And when my wife cook or my mom cook, they think that they turn on the gas so high, it's going to cook faster, but they are just wasting the gas bill. Anyway, we'll be back before I put the whole package of shrimp in there. All right? All right, guys, so the water is about getting boiled already, okay? So you want to get your uh, shrimp uh, prepared uh, to dump it in. So let's go ahead and then uh, get the pack from the freezer section. So this is the uh, factory seal. So you got to peel this off. And then unzip it. Seals in pretty tight. There you go. All right. And all you do is just uh, dump the whole thing in there. And after that, you close the lid and let it boil until. And then you, you might want to stir here and there until it turns uh, pink. See, that's a raw strand right now. And sometimes people don't want to stick. You put some, like uh, maybe a uh, little dab of uh, olive oil. I'm gonna stir a little bit before I close the lid. Make sure all the shrimp uh, soak in the water, boiling water. Well, right now it's not boiling anymore because of the frozen shrimp. And you don't want to cook it too long, okay? If you cook, cook it too long, the shrimp is not going to taste uh, tender. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so it's about turning to pink now, okay? And then... Uh, you want to make sure you stir them because some of them were like uh, still raw like you can see okay
Sometimes the shrimp are clumped together and then uh, it's not cooking. So make sure you stir them and try to separate them as well. Unless you want to like to eat the shrimp raw. Okay. So I'm going to let it boil for another minute or so. So as you can see, the shrimp uh, turned out uh, pretty good. You, uh, you want it to have this kind of nice uh, texture with nice uh, color. So you want to screw from the bottom and up when you try to steer them, okay? Because you don't want to shrimp on the bottom to get burned and just uh, cook on the bottom instead of the top so just make sure you stir them together I'll stir them well and then uh, after that you want to scoop it up and then uh, go to the sink and then rin rinse it off with the cold water so it won't be uh, hot to, pe uh, to take out the tail because the tail is still on there Okay. So here we are. I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of strings for you guys uh, real quick. See the tail is still on there. What I did is uh, I need to use my fingernail to pry it out open right here. And then all you do is just uh, peel this off like that. So even you still have the meat in there. Again, same thing. Peel it off right in the middle of the tail and then just uh, pull it out uh, this one come out nicer so three is my lucky number so I'm gonna do one more for you guys to demonstrate okay nice done Nicely done. So after that, you're going to chop it off. You cut it in half. And either one, two, three, or four. You can cut it in four different uh, sections. And all you do is just dump this uh, in there and then uh, you're going to mix it up later on with your uh, onion, your cilantro, and your tomatoes. Oh, I forgot to transfer to a bigger uh, pot, so I'm going to transfer that or container, okay? So I'm going to fast forward it so you guys don't waste any time to uh, watch the whole thing, okay? Okay guys, we're down to the last shrimp. And as you can see, my bowl is uh, pretty full, okay? That should be okay. And normally I put like a two at the medium size uh, lime in there. But since uh, this lime is so small, I'm going to put like a four or five. I'll make it six even. Because they are so small and tiny. And you want to get, be sure to get the seeds out. Also, if you uh, eat the seeds, Tastes so uh, nasty and bitter. And your guests or your family would not like the ceviche after, the, after all. So you kind of get an idea and after that I just uh, squeeze the lime. And make sure you go around it.
bit of a scene there. Finally, you want to put your uh, tapatio, make sure you shake it well. Okay. Take out the, the wrapper. And what I do is I, I'm going to open up all the way. Okay. And I'm just going to go around it. Depends how spicy you want it. Since this is uh, a lot, I'm going to put a little bit more than uh, what I normally you put. And if that's not spicy enough, you can just uh, always uh, add it more. You don't want to add it too much and then later on you cannot go back. And you're gonna get a, a big scoop of spoon or just a, to uh, stir up all the way in order to taste uh, good. So I'm gonna use like a medium uh, scoop, okay? Since I don't have that much room to uh, work with, I don't want to strain to fall off. You want to dig from the bottom up and then stir up. Keep on going around like this in a circular motion. And you want to mix up uh, very well. There's my cilantro. I don't think that's, that's not, uh, enough type of tea. I'm going to add some more in there. I'm going to spread out the cilantro. Make sure you go everywhere, go all around it. I'm gonna get a small bowl and then uh, see how it tastes. Also, I like to eat it with this uh, late July snack, uh, sea salt. This is a multi-grain tortilla chips. This one is better than a corn tortilla. Has a special uh, ingredients right here. Not too salty. Because the one that uh, we uh, normally eat before is too salty, uh, regular uh, tortilla chip, the corn chips. And this one is the less so and USDA organic and non-GMO. Okay, gluten-free, vegan. I got this from Costco, it's about what, $6.59. So I'm gonna scoop it up real quick. Uh, right now it's lunch time. Well, actually, past lunch time. So I'm gonna use my scissor. You want to scoop it out like that and just put it in your mouth, okay?
Mmm. Tastes good. Well, hopefully you guys uh, like this video and then uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel and be sure to hit that sub, I mean notification button. So whenever I need upload new and latest video, you can check them out uh, instantly. Alright? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video and drop any other feedbacks or uh, comments on below. Well, I forgot to add the black pepper, but yeah, you can also add that in to get a better taste. Alright? Peace out, guys.